So we're thinking of that matrix, right? Are people inside your company, outside of your company? Are they above you or below you? And we want to remember that not all questions need to be answered all the time. Sometimes we can not answer questions. But the way to do that is not to say, um, no, I don't want to answer. It's to say, I will look into that and get back to you. Of course, if it's your boss, you cannot say that. And if it's someone who's a customer or someone outside your company who maybe outranks you, so they're important to you, maybe important to your company, you need to take it serious and say, I'm going to look into that information and find it for you. Can I get your email? Can I contact you with that? You don't want to avoid it. But if it's your boss, you need to answer it. You cannot even do that. You need to answer it or try your best to answer it. Be prepared for comments from the audience that are not really questions. The audience will remember how you react to these comments. So the best thing to do is to stay calm. Don't take a strong stand or argue with the questioner. The worst thing I ever see in a presentation is when the presenter argues with someone in the audience. Why is that so bad? Well, it's not because the person in the audience is so good or the presenter is so terrible. No. The person in the audience may be a crazy person or have no good idea or they totally don't understand and they ask a stupid question. The problem is not that person. The problem is everyone in the audience thinks their time is being wasted. They have other things to do. Or the person in the audience has a good point, is very smart, understands the presentation and asks a good question. But usually that kind of question is going to be deep and complicated and take a long time to answer. Again, the rest of the audience is feeling, oh, when is this going to end? I need to get going. I have other things to do. So in that case, you want to get moving as quickly as possible. Get out of the way. Get this over with as soon as possible while looking calm and relaxed and confident. Not all questions are really questions. For example, someone maybe does not understand your presentation. That's possible. So for example, a question could be, I don't understand your point at all. Okay, well one way we can answer this would be, maybe I haven't been clear. I can talk more with you after we finish here. How about someone in the audience just doesn't like the presentation? They don't like the topic or they don't like the presenter. For example, this whole topic is unimportant. You could respond by saying, thank you for that input. Or someone in the audience could say that they disagree with the presenter. For example, I don't see how you can draw these conclusions. And you can answer by saying, this is what we have now, but of course, there could be something we missed. Maybe we can talk afterwards. This is a great example of don't confront, don't fight with the audience, don't fight with the person who has a question. Their question may be a good or a bad question, it doesn't matter. You want to be nice and maybe they do have a good point and maybe you'll learn something from it. But you don't want to waste the time of everyone. You want to move on. 